Sasha's character has often been criticized by fans for being underdeveloped compared to Kony, John, or even Flock. While this may be true in some sense, the lack of appreciation for Sasha's character development makes me think that a lot of people have missed the purpose intended by Isayama. Apparently, Isayama had planned to kill her sometime around chapter 36, that scene where she saves the little girl from her village, she was supposed to die right there. But thankfully, Isayama changed his mind and the explanation he gave was quite interesting to me. He said, I felt that her character could be utilized further. And utilized further she was. I believe her character themes ended up being as complex as the ones from Reiner, Aaron, or Levi. Too bad we can't see more of her in the final season part 2, but her impact enriched the storyline in a unique way and will continue to do so. And here's why. Her character can be broken down into three roles, and they gradually intersect with one another as the storyline progresses, even after her death. Let's start off with the most obvious one so we can get that one out of the way, her role as the comic relief. Fun trivia, Sasha's name was inspired by two things, the first one being the comedian Sasha Baron Cohen, and the second being a chocolate flavor from the brand Lotte. Knowing this, it is easy to see how her character came to be comedy through gluttony. In a show depicting dark themes such as deceit, desperation, and regret, Sasha is the light in the show and just like any other comic relief characters, she serves as a relief from the built-up tension through funny dialogue and reactions. The comic relief character is generally liked by its audience. I mean, who doesn't like comedy? Good comedy, that is, which I think Sasha is not too bad at. But the purpose of Sasha's character was more than to simply break the tension. I believe Isayama designed her character meticulously after he decided to not kill her off. He designed her to be likable. And to be likable, one needs to be relatable. From her insecurities about her accent to her desire for her father's acceptance, Sasha's struggles are somewhat mundane compared to Eren's fight for freedom or to Reiner's moral struggle. But they are nonetheless realistic because life is sometimes mundane. Not everyone is a hero or is humanity's strongest soldier. Sasha gives the viewers the perspective of being an average person with average struggles, adding a humane layer to the world of Attack on Titan. On top of that, Isayama made sure to show growth in her character when she successfully saved the little girl and earned praise from her father. Those victories further increased her likability as it was proved that she wasn't just funny, but also competent and courageous. An important reminder that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it, because Sasha was most definitely terrified at that moment. Add her relatability and her comedic timing to those things and you get a very likable person, not only to the viewers but also among her peers, which brings me to her second role as the glue. In my opinion, this is the most important role her character served. The glue in the group is the person that brings everyone together, and Sasha does exactly that on an emotional level. By bringing laughter, Sasha makes people around her enjoy the time spent with her. By being relatable, she is able to build trust and deeper connections with her peers. By being competent, her team feels confident relying on her on their missions. All those traits are integral to Sasha's role as the emotional glue of the team. But her impact goes way beyond the survey core. The love Niccolo had for Sasha was a nice touch by Isayama as it reinforced the theme of equality. Eldians and Marlians are all the same. We are all the same. If we would just take the time to know each other, love would become an option. This theme is displayed repeatedly during the show on a macro level, but Sasha and Niccolo's relationship brings this theme back on a humane level. So deeply humane that it saved Niccolo from the war. And this is what I think a lot of people seem to have overlooked about Sasha's character. Her impact extends beyond herself. She isn't just a comic relief used to break the tension. She isn't just a background character that dies for shock value. She was a symbol of emotional connection between her team and between Eldians and Marlians. 
On one side of Sasha, you have Niccolo symbolizing love, and on the other side, you have Gabby, who symbolizes hatred. When Niccolo and Gabby finally meet, Niccolo's love for Sasha turns into hatred towards Gabby, bringing about the cycle of hatred once again. The only way to break the cycle is through compassion, and that's when Sasha's father forgave Gabby. The themes of equality, love, hate, compassion, and forgiveness all revolve around Sasha Browse in a congruent and beautiful way. You've got to hand it to Isayama for developing such depth and intricacies in his supporting characters. Sasha may not be the strongest soldier or the most impactful during battles, but she brings an added layer of emotions and complexity to the show by affecting the individuals around her, bringing a humanizing perspective in the world of Attack on Titan, even after her death. As the comic relief and the glue, her death signified a definite tonal shift in the show. The tension relief provided by her character would be no more. The little light that was left in the show was gone. The bond that held the group together was also gone. It was clear that we were now in the endgame. Her character symbolized positivity and laughter, so consequently, her death symbolized hopelessness and pain. Some have said that her death was insignificant and unnecessary, which I most certainly disagree with, but let's say that it was. Wouldn't that be reflective of our reality, especially during a war? Not everyone dies a heroic death or gets the attention that others do during a war. In real life, good people die and life goes on. That doesn't mean they weren't important or that their deaths were insignificant, but such is life and Isayama depicts this reality through Sasha's death and many others throughout the show. And actually, her death was significant as they brought upon us all those complex themes we've just discussed, and without it, the intense scene between Niccolo, Gabby, and Arthur Browse wouldn't have existed. A loss makes you realize what is important, and when something dramatic and substantial happens, like the death of someone you are attached to, it makes you reflect on your own life and on what is truly important. Just like how many have overlooked Sasha's character as a simple comic relief throughout the show, but later realize how sad it was to lose her. Sometimes, we don't truly appreciate the things in front of us until they're gone, and only then do we learn to be grateful for what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, a like, comment, or subscribe would be tremendous. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you all on the next one.